How important has it been that you've been able to pull forces together? Huge, huge. I mean, it, it's, it's sort of it's like cross contamination. Yeah. We're better together. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we need to we need to unite and use both platforms to be able to speak, you know, in solidarity with one another, and then to use the time. To, to talk about things that are really, really important, you know, experiences that we've all had individually and experiences that we've heard from other women that we want to share with the world. And if we can if we can use the, our platforms to be able to share them, then I think it's really valuable and it, it makes such a difference. I'm really proud to bring you along tonight, you two, because this is a moment, this is a real, real moment of change that is completely inspiring and I actually didn't think I'd see it in my lifetime, which is quite pessimistic of me, but it's a moment where women are coming together and men and they are actually addressing equality, abuse and trying to end it and there's an incredible just energy around it and um, a night like tonight, I'm incredibly proud to be here. I'm incredibly proud to be wearing black to support the women around the world who have suffered from abuse and these women as well. I'm just so proud to be here with you all. It's a great moment. I'm not the reason everyone's wearing black, but I did send a lot of annoying emails to people. I was that person, very annoying person, but it's all for the right cause, so I'm proud to have been a part of it. We're just communicating now. This is all just communication. The real work has to be done once people are starting to think about it and talk about it in their homes, talking about it. I mean, I know I, know, I haven't stopped talking about this since it all started. Can't, you know, and, uh, and so now the, the conversation is out there and it's just a question of maintaining that conversation and moving it from a conversation to action.